That developing news, it's out of Summit County. A propane tanker crash near Echo Reservoir has forced the closure of I-80 and I-84. Right now, Utah Highway Patrol says the truck hauling about 10,000 gallons of propane rolled just after 1 o'clock this afternoon. Take a look at these photos. It landed with part of the truck hanging over the bridge right near the I-84 and I-80 junction. Very precarious there. Police, fire, and hazmat teams have responded and evacuated a mile radius, closing both freeways around Echo Junction. And we are joined by Trooper Chris Bishop. He's with the Utah Highway Patrol. And uh, Trooper, first of all, uh, tell us a, a little bit about uh, what happened there. First, are the people okay? Yeah, everybody is okay. There was minor injuries to the driver of this truck, but uh, he was treated at the scene. Fortunately, uh, he was the only vehicle involved. No, uh, nobody else was involved. And what's the situation with that propane? Did it leak out? It did. So this truck, shortly after 1 o'clock, it was taking the uh, I-80 to I-84 interchange, uh, rolled over. So it's a, a semi-truck with two trailers. The second trailer uh, rolled over and into a, a little ravine. That tank was punctured, and all the propane has been evacuated out of that one. They're currently in the process of offloading the main trailer that's about 48 feet and 10,000 gallons. So it's going to take a little while uh, for them to offload that and get the area cleaned up in the truck uh, over or uprighted so they can open that area back up. And and that's an area where, you know, it, it's not one of our uh, freeways running through the Wasatch Front, so it doesn't have as much traffic, but there's there's really no other way to get from from one place to another other than 84 if you if you're going towards Evanston or from there uh, into into Utah, right? How, how long is this going to be closed? Yeah, that's right. It's just kind of a, a one-way area right there. Fortunately, there's not a whole lot of people in that area, but you are correct. It's still a main thoroughfare to get uh, through to Ogden or to Evanston. We're estimating two to three hours, but again, that can be a very dynamic situation depending on how quickly they can offload. So at minimum, I would say three hours. It could be longer. It, it could be shorter. So if there's anyone out there who's planning some kind of holiday travel between the states or, or something like that, you say... Yeah, to put it off for at least three hours. Don't plan on, on traveling 84. Is I-80 um, going to be uh, closed for that long, you think, or is that a shorter time period? It's going to be the same. Uh, okay. that, the Echo Junction is closed completely in both uh, directions of I-80 and I-84. All right, and I want to make sure we're situating our viewers correctly. This would be uh, just I I immediately outside of uh, Echo Reservoir towards the junction there and then and then the crash is, is towards Evanston from the junction is that right it's right at the junction right it's there at, right there yeah okay so that whole area is just a, a mess right now oh. um and the town of echo or the few inhabitants there are they have been evacuated so they are are homeless for the time being as well okay and uh and last question was it just a matter of the turn taking the turn too fast no i can speculate Generally, we see speeds too fast when these trucks do overturn uh, without seeing what the uh, they're seeing on scene. I, I couldn't speculate, but I would imagine that speed had to do with something, something uh, to do with it. All right. Trooper Chris Bishop, Utah Highway Patrol. Thanks so much for taking that time. Really helps us out and our viewers. Thank you. Appreciate it.